Today we're going to be talking about a healthy sleep routine for your kiddos and even for you as well. Well, we're oftentimes running around all day after our littles and then it's finally bedtime. And what happens? They don't want to stay in their bed or they're struggling to fall asleep. And so I remember those days, especially when I was a young mom, and I remember reading all the books about sleep. And I was known as the sleep queen. Now, all my friends would call me, Roxy, tell me what to do with this kid. I'm struggling with nap time or I'm struggling with bedtime. And I'd look through the book and like give them the advice that they needed. A couple of days later, they were like, yes, that was it. Thank you so much. So I love helping families. I've been helping families for years, even before doTERRA essential oil. So that's so fun for me as I remember those days. Well, other moms would call me. I love that. But guys, sleep is so important. I think oftentimes, especially in our hurried culture, we dismiss the fact or we'll say, oh, well, we'll catch back up on that sleep over the weekend or in a couple of days. And the truth is that once the sleep is lost, you really can't catch it up. That really is not true. So when you hear somebody saying that, or maybe you catch yourself saying that, oh, it's not true. So let's not do that. Really, the truth is that we need to prioritize our sleep and keeping our babies, especially in our children, on a routine and um, really watching them more than watching the clock. There are signs of when they're ready to sleep. And so all of those things are really important. Well, and I really do recognize that it is a challenge to protect their sleep and really having multiple kids, the more children you have, the harder it is to protect their sleep. I, I recognize that we have four. Um, also activities, the, the bigger your age gap between your children and the older ones start to have out aside activities. I get it. It's a lot. Also those sports and really prioritizing their sleep is super important. But even as um, maybe a single mom or you're a full-time working mom, there are even more challenges because you're barely getting home. It's time for dinner. It's time for homework. It's time for bath time. And all of a sudden it's really late. I get it. So today I'm going to give you some helpful tips on how to implement a bedtime routine and also how easy it is to incorporate doTERRA essential oils and how it's going to help really smooth out your calendar, smooth out your sleep patterns and wake up more refreshed and have more energy during, um, during the daytime. So not only for your kiddos, but also for you. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Be sure to hit the subscribe and bell notification and also the like. Well, one of the top books that I recommend is my favorite book on sleep. It's Healthy Sleep Habits, Happy Child by Dr. Mark Weisbluff. This is an amazing book. I love it. I gift this at baby showers along with essential oils. Like those are the top things that this family is going to need when they have a baby. But the research at the beginning of the book really helps you understand the why behind it. And then the second part of the book is a reference manual on how to implement healthy sleep habits for your kiddo. So definitely check out that book. But um, the reference part of the book is also one that you'll go back to over and over again as your patterns of your child change as they age, especially when they're younger, their they're nap changes from three to two to one um, really quickly. And then as they get older, how many hours of sleep are they supposed to be getting all those important things? Well, there are many concerns with sleep, but definitely making family, um, as a family, choosing to make sleep a priority. I know for my husband and I, for Adrian and I, it was really important to protect our sleep. We would get babysitters or grandparents to watch the kids while we had those other activities to honor their sleep. And when um, we had our first kiddo, especially Adrian was still working out of the home, full-time job, right? I was stay-at-home mom early on, and um, our, the baby would go to sleep at 5.30, and he wouldn't come home at 5.30, right? He was coming home later, and so oftentimes, before doTERRA essential oils came into our life as a business, when Adrian was working out of the home, he really didn't see our babies very much at all awake because he would leave really early in the morning and come home late at night. And so sidebar here, that is why we love doTERRA as a business, is that we can work from home around our schedule. And also just an aside here, I know we're sleep, talking about sleep, but if you want more information about doTERRA as a business, please go to the comment section and you'll be able to see in the notes for today's video how to contact me on WhatsApp. I'd love to schedule a 15 minute time with you to just go over and see if this might be a good fit for you. I know it totally changed everything for us. It really is sad that you know, as a parent, we can't see our kids when they're awake because we were working out of the home. Okay, what happens when we don't prioritize sleep? for you as well as your kiddos. We're the ones who set our example. So if our kids see us staying up late, not uh, managing our schedule to be able to sleep properly, they're gonna have end up having those same habits as well. So making sleep a priority as an entire family is really important. 
Okay. Well, many concerns happen, um, some concerns that we can have when we're not sleeping enough, especially for our kiddos. It can have concerns with their cognitive function, our mental health, our emotions, irritability. Have you ever missed a nap with your little kid and then you pay for it for days later? Yes, we have. I think we have all done that. Um, children with chronic sleep concerns can often have headaches, even feelings of sadness and depression can even lead to hypertension and obesity. These are scary things that can happen if we don't prioritize our sleep. If you're ready to hop in with doTERRA essential oils, I'd love to help you write at roxysaran.com. I would be honored to be your oily girl as we navigate sleep concerns. I'd love to help you write at roxysaran.com. Well, first things first is setting a routine, set a wake up time, and also your bedtimes and your meal times. Having that structure is really com comforting to our children. It provides stability for them, and it helps so much, even for us as moms, to have knowing what, what's gonna be happening throughout the day. So our bedtime routine are the four Bs, right? Bath, brush, book, and bed. One drop of lavender essential oil in your bath or serenity is amazing. Even for your youngest babies, one drop of lavender or serenity in your bath time routine. It's gonna smell like a spa in there. The water and the heat drive your oils deeper so your kiddo is really soothed and ready to go to sleep. Having a diffuser running with essential oils in the room uh, ahead of time is great. Lavender, serenity, wild orange, peace, or vetiver, all of these are great options. Balance, adaptive, juniper berry, tons of options for sleep. You're gonna find what's the best combination for you, but running your diffuser. So one drop in the bath, running your diffuser. As they brush their teeth, or you're helping them brush their teeth, on guard toothpaste is excellent because it is safe for kiddos. If they accidentally swallow it, it's no problem at all. It's gonna just enhance their immune system. Nothing bad will happen at all. So that's really important. Love on guard toothpaste. And then we're gonna read a book. So something calming, soothing, you have your lamp on, no longer have big lights, you're turned off the music, closed the blinds. We're setting the, the scene for them to go to sleep and they're gonna learn this pattern. Uh, bath, brush, book, bed. So after bath, I love to also rub their feet. Remember quieter voices, calming, soothing environment, the soothing time. I love massaging their feet with essential oils and rubbing them on their back and also um, around their ears. We would use doTERRA's unscented body lotion. This is excellent to use. Just a little bit of lotion, one or two drops of essential oil, depending on what's going on. We loved on guard on the bottoms of their feet and breathe. Those are always staples in our home because that one, they're enhancing immune system system and two, helping helping open up their airways. Now, um, I have a kiddo that used to have a lot of issues with sinuses and ear um, congestion. And so I always made a habit, especially when he was little, of lavender and tea tree around the ears and frankincense. So lavender, frankincense, and tea tree, uh, massaging those around the ears and on the little lymph nodes on their throat. And again, just helping enhance their immune system while they sleep. Now the only concern, and I do wanna just make sure you have this information, is that when they're getting out of their bath um, and they get into their jammies and read the book and then after that do the massage, and here's why. The pores are more open after bath time and so you don't want to uh, put essential oils directly on their skin immediately after the bedtime because it can have a little bit of that heating or cooling sensation. Even if it's normally a very um, mild essential oil, even like a lavender or a tea tree or frankincense can have a little spicy feeling to the little baby skin. And so let the body get back to a normal temperature. And so it's perfect time to get them um, dressed in their little jammies and also reading a book and calming down. After that, you'll be able to do a little bit of massage with essential oils um, as part of your beautiful nighttime routine. And then it's time for bed. Another tip for you, if you have a baby that loves their little lovey, I know we had, a, uh, our babies had a little lovey. I'll have to get a picture of that for you guys for the channel, but they had their beautiful little baby lovey. You can put a drop of uh, essential oil directly on their lovey. And so as they're snuggling with that, if you wanna help promote sleep, you can do lavender or serenity or balance. If they're having any type of teething or anything like that, you can uh, put a, a drop of frankincense or copa on there 
I love doing that. And if they're having any type of congestion, you can put a drop of Breathe on their little jammy or on their lovey as well. And as they hold and cuddle that, it's gonna be like their own little diffuser right there for them. If you are ready to join me in doTERRA essential oils, I would be honored to help you write at roxysaran.com. All right, some other tips I wanna make sure for you is that when it's wake up time, you pull back those curtains, run the washer and dryer, turn on music. It is wake up time. Let your child know there's a distinction between nighttime and morning time, right? Go outside, take your child out into the sunshine, go for a walk and let them get their energy out, have them run around and let them play. All of those are gonna be excellent tips for getting them good and tired for their nap time. Another thing you can do, of course, for nap time is to run your diffuser again. Um, you can choose, again, lavender or adaptive piece. I don't recommend Serenity at nap time, and let me tell you why. We found out this one with our last kiddo with Seth. Uh, one time I did Serenity for him at nap, and he really struggled getting up. It just put him into too much of a deep sleep. So, um, But if you've got one that's struggling with sleep, maybe you're gonna love um, Serenity, but for nap time, we figured that one was just a little bit too strong for for us that's a good problem to have i guess guys we have um we have benefited from all of these tips in our family we have excellent sleepers and they have a really good um focus and memory and all of the opposite of all of the struggles that we talked about today so i'm really glad that you're joining me please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you also have checked out the book healthy sleep habits happy child i'd love to hear some feedback from you i hope you have a fabulous day and in our next video we will be talking about the sanag specialty hospital that is opened up in somaliland i can't wait to tell you about that partnership uh, with our frankincense growers as well be sure to hit the subscribe and bell notification and also the like